Hey everyone, it's Megan with Alder and Nance, and I am so excited to share my plans for 2022 today. But first, I'd like to say happy holidays, and I hope everyone is having a safe and fun time during this time of year. And my first update is actually going to be that I am going to go ahead and take off for the rest of the year, and we'll come back on Monday, January 3rd with a new video. And if you've noticed, the last couple of videos I have posted have been on Mondays and have been dropping around 5 p.m. Central Time. That's because I am trying this out. And if you prefer this time, let me know down in the comments. I'm always going to take what my viewers would prefer into consideration whenever it comes to uploading. But so far, I have actually liked the schedule a little bit more because that means I'm able to film and do my reveal shots on the weekend when I have a little bit of an easier time actually taking those reveal shots. But let's go ahead and head over to my Pinterest account and I can tell you about my inspiration board for my capsule wardrobe that I'm planning to start. As you can see, the original board it has a lot of my starlets, some of the royal family, and a couple other people that I have drawn some inspiration for my new wardrobe coming up. And then I also have a board for my jewelry, which we're not even going to bother with that. But I have some outfit ideas that I'd like to make and also my color palettes. But as you can see, I do want to have some inspiration from like Elizabeth Taylor, Audrey Hepburn, the royal family, and my love, Captain Carter. I absolutely love Agent Carter, Captain Carter. I know I just said that wrong, but I have actually filmed my intro about 10 times already this morning, and I'm not going back to correct that. Agent Carter, I love her outfit, so I am taking a lot of inspiration from the 50s, but I'm also going to be taking a lot of inspiration from the old money look. And you'll see that whenever we actually go and look at my outfit ideas. But the starlets, the royal family, all have this old money vibe. And as you can see, I also have a couple of photos of Marilyn Monroe. But a lot of my inspiration is coming from the late 40s to the 50s. And... I absolutely love Queen Elizabeth's earlier styles. I'm not an old woman, so I'm not going to take her current fashion and use that for inspiration, but her older fashion, especially in the 50s, I absolutely adore. And then, of course, Kate Middleton is another that I absolutely adore her fashion. It's very classic, and it's old money. And that is one thing that I am wanting to kind of style my wardrobe around. And I have a huge belief in the power of attraction. And if I am dressing with an old money aesthetic, then maybe what I am trying to manifest into my life will come true. No, I don't want to be old money. But I love that aesthetic and I love that rich look. As you can see, I have a lot of 40s and 50s styles also within my outfit ideas. But I also have a lot of old money styling and just some other beautiful outfits. And yes, I'm going to have some casual wear that I will be making. Like this turtleneck with pants. That's casual but I do plan on making some loungewear for around the house and whenever I'm running errands. But I do want to start building up my wardrobe for whenever I am going out and things along those lines. And that includes making a Chanel inspired outfit, making suits, and just kind of just styling myself how I want others to see me and what I want in my life. And let's go back into my capsule wardrobe and my colors. I do have a lot of old money ideas for my 
actual colors in my palettes. I do want to have a lot of whites and creams and I absolutely love black. Black is one of my favorite colors, but I also love red. Red and green and purples are some of my favorite colors and I went over to Color Wise Me and I actually went through and did my colors and I am a deep winter. So some of these colors that are on here I will definitely be wearing and as you can see a lot of these colors are more along the lines of a old money aesthetic. And you can go other to over to Color Wise Me and you're able to get your palette and everything and I know it told me to stay away from some colors. Let's see if I could... Ah, uh, okay. No, that didn't work. That didn't work. My best colors? Previous? Okay, yes. The browns and creams, but I'm not going to... These are just colors to avoid. I am going to stick mainly with whites and blues and some of the reds and pinks. I will include some creams and browns, but a darker brown is better for me than a lighter brown or even these orange shades. And that's really good because I actually hate the color orange. But that's neither here nor there. And let's go back over here and see capsule wardrobe. And of course, I do need to add some pieces of jewelry into my wardrobe. So I've included a necklace, a couple of earrings and rings. Um, I have always loved sapphires since I was a little girl when my mom got me my first sapphire ring. And I'd like to go ahead and purchase a couple of pearl jewelry pieces. So this is just some of my inspiration for how I want to style myself and Audrey has always been an inspiration for me. I've actually had several outfits that I styled back whenever I was working for a security company that had people think that I, not think, but reminded them of Audrey while I was dressed up and was going out to different sites. I was an operations manager for a security company for a couple of years and then I was also the acting chief of security for a government position for a while there. But yeah. So that is my capsule wardrobe that I plan on kind of making and I'm going to be sharing a lot of my letter low but I am also going to be sharing my pattern making with the Hoslam system that I have been getting from Mrs. Depew. But I have, along with my Lutterlow system, I will be also making patterns using Pattern Lab. You can actually go over to Pattern Lab and go through and create either a bodice block or a torso block and go through, do your own waist shaping, do an automatic, which is just like 9% of your besties, and go from there. You can go all the way through and then turn around and purchase this. And you can either do a actual paper manipulation for patterning, and you can download the PDF for $7.99, or you can get an e-pattern and use Adobe Illustrator for the same price, and you can actually manipulate everything for the pattern in Adobe Illustrator, which I'm going to start doing. But I do plan on purchasing some other things from Pattern Lab, and that includes their nested basic blocks. And I do plan on opening up my own Patreon and doing some patterns there for everyone, but I'm not gonna open up my Patreon until after I have about 200 subscribers. And I'm going to start it off at a dollar per month and with my five dollar subscription you will get at least at least one pattern a month plus with the dollar in and above you will always get my pattern making videos and some of them will also be just for my Patreon but as you can see I have gone in and I have purchased in my own size, I've purchased the basic bodice, the torso, which I've 
taken down to knee length. I've also purchased a stretch dress and also the pants. I do need to go in and purchase the basic skirt block. And I thought about buying the jeans, but I think that just the trouser pattern is going to be good. But after whenever I start to get close to 200 subscribers, I will go ahead and buy all of the nested blocks and I will start making patterns for all of you and giving that out on Patreon. And let's head over to my above shot and I will share some of the patterns that I want to use from my Lutterlow system. So I am only going to pop in when I see patterns that I'd like to talk about or patterns that I am going to make. Otherwise, I am going to go ahead and pop in some music for you to listen to. This is one that I do want to make. I do want to make this jacket. It's really pretty and it reminds me of a princess coat. This is a pattern that I'll link down and below and above that I made for Skylar. And that's kind of cute. I have no idea what that is. I like this suit set. I do want to make this vintage pattern. I do like this pair of pants and I do want to make this Jackie O pattern. I think this would be a really cute loungewear set for me. I do like the pink set. This is one that I don't mind making, and I love the ruffles on the blue one. I do plan on making one of those, and I do like these pants. I really like these pants. I'm not a big fan of this vintage pattern. I love that pink skirt. I love the ruffle top on both of those. <clears throat> I like the pants on these, but I'm not sure if the wide legs actually look good on me or not. I love this ruffled skirt. And the greenish color suit's cute. I do like this gray dress. I've made this pink top. I did not get a video of it. And I do like that skirt. Not a big fan of this vintage pattern. I do want to make this top because it reminds me of one that my mom had. I like the blue dress. I do like the pink dress. Again, with the ruffles, I do like that. I like these pants, but it's for skinnier girls and that's not me. I think I might make one or the other of these jackets. I like those pants. I do like the skirt on the left. I like the pants on the right. Don't really like this vintage pattern. I like both of these dresses. I like both of those pants. This is a set that I might be making for myself. I do like that top.
I like those pants and I do like the top. I'm not a crop top wearer, so I don't like either of these patterns. Those are cute pants. This might be a cute loungewear set for around the house. I like this blue dress. It might be a little long-waisted for me, though. Uh, teacher wear. This is kind of cute. I do want to make this vintage pattern. I like these jackets. I do like these outfits. I like the pink dress. Might have to make myself an apron with that. I like the top on the left. I like the pink dress. I like both of these jackets. Not a big fan of this vintage pattern. I have made that shirt for Ryan, and that's all that came with the original Lutterlow set that I've got from the Golden Rule. So on to my supplements. This is 312 and I love this first pattern out of here. It reminds me very much of the old money aesthetic. I do like this purple set for loungewear. I like these pants, not real sure about it. Kind of like the gray set. I do love this outfit. but it does not have the shirt to go with it. I do love this. I love the little cascade look to it. I love both of these tops, but especially the black and white one. I like this vintage pattern, but I'm not real sure if I'll make it. On to 313, if I can get my book to actually go through. I like both of these outfits. I like the outfit on the right. I like the pink outfit right there with the little bow. I think another YouTuber has actually made that dress. I like the yellow one. We'll not be making it in yellow. I like both of these, but would go for a longer skirt. I like this, but just not real sure if it would look good on me. I absolutely love this bathing suit, and I think I will be making it for the summer. This is a cute little vintage outfit, and something for me to be making Ryan. On to 314, if I can get my pages to turn. I love both of these outfits, but especially the one on the left. I like these outfits. I love both of these. I like this dress. Probably won't make it for me, but I'll probably make it for Skylar. 
And again, I'm struggling, sorry. 315. I like these outfits. I like both of these coats. So I skipped one. Not a big fan of that tear look. The green one is really cute. I love this blue dress on the left. Oversized hoodies are always cute. Kind of like that. Probably not going to make it. On to 316. I do like the Empire Waste one. I do like both of these. I have made the top on the left, and I do need to make that skirt one day. I like both of these outfits, and I really love that red shirt. I like the pink skirt here. I like the green dress. I like the pink outfit. I'm not pregnant, so I don't need maternity wear. I'm not a big fan of that vintage. On to 317. I like both of these outfits. And I apologize if you can hear stuff going on in the background. One of my kids is getting something to eat. I do like this purple suit. Kind of like that polka dot one. I do like that green. And I like that skirt too. That is a very pretty wedding dress. I might use that to make Skylar a dress. I have no idea what these are, but they're kind of cute. I have made that dress for Ryan, and I'll link that down below and up in the little eye cards. On to 318. I like both of these, but I especially like the skirt. I do like that leather jacket and might be making that if I can find leather or pleather that I like. I like both of these. I like the ruffles. I really want to make this. I like both of these. I made the pants on the left. I did not do a very good job of making that pattern, so I might be making that again later. I like this outfit a whole lot. I like that jumpsuit, and I really love this vintage pattern. I know I will be making this one. On to 319, I like both of these outfits. And I like both of these. I do like the blue dress. I like the coat here. It'd be a real easy thing for me to run around town in. I like the ruffles of the shirt, but I don't know if that pattern comes with it. It looks like it does. I do like those pants. I like these winter coats. And I've made that purple outfit for Ryan, but it was too small for her by the time I actually finished it a while back. I like these suit sets. And it does come with the best pattern. I like that dress on the left. 
Actually, it's probably the same dress pattern. Yeah, it is. I like this outfit, but it is for a skinnier person than I am. I like the pink one, kinda. Not real sure if I'll make that for myself. I do want to make the one on the left, especially. I love that look. Not a fan of this vintage pattern. And 321. I do like those dresses. I love those pants. I like these outfits. I like this and I've got a material to make it too. Right? Y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you after the first of the year.